Sweden is the envy of many in Europe. Its economy recovered from the financial crisis faster than almost any other Western country. Government debt is low, while unemployment never hit the highs of many Eurozone countries. Nonetheless, in elections on September the 14th, voters look like kicking out the centre-right coalition that has governed Sweden for the past eight years. Instead, they look like plumping for a centre-left government led by the Social Democrats, the dominant party for much of the post-war period. Stefan Löfven, their leader, is an atypical politician. He's never been a member of parliament. Instead, he was the head of a trade union before taking charge of a traumatised Social Democrat party after an unprecedented two election defeats. Today he's campaigning in towns to the north of Stockholm, bringing his message of investment in schools and jobs. This is uh, about the direction for Sweden. Uh, if we are going to continue with this uh, right-wing government uh, coalition, uh, reducing taxes and, uh, and uh, keep the, the high unemployment, bad school results, uh, a welfare that is not delivering what it should deliver any longer, or should we enter a new track? And, and I want to lead Sweden into a new common project for the future in which everyone who lives here can, can see that he or she has a, a place in that project for the future, meaning that everybody is entitled to a job. Polls suggest voters are tired of the current government, but the Social Democrats could record their worst result in a hundred years and be rescued only by smaller parties such as their allies, the Greens. Here in Jevla, 170 kilometres north of Stockholm, the crowd at a rally is mostly full of enthusiastic Social Democrats. One group Levin is also popular with is business. As trade union leader, he worked closely with companies and has visited many such as Volvo cars in recent months. What I think is important for a, for a government in the future is really to work with the re-industrialization of Sweden. I think we need that. So we need a government that shows interest in, in the industry and is also ready to support industry. And I think in that respect, uh, I think the Social Democrats and Stefan Levin has, has shown that he's interested and of course have experience also from industry. So in that way, I think is something positive. But many in business worry about his possible coalition partners. Jakob Wallenberg, Sweden's leading industrialist, told the FT recently he was afraid of what the Greens and the ex-communists in the left party wanted to do. Levin himself says business has nothing to worry about. No, I mean, Sweden is built on, on strong, uh, strong enterprises, and uh, both small and bigger ones. And of course, uh, we are dependent, the country is dependent on, on, on strong enterprises. And with the social democratic led government, uh, we will, of course, keep on developing in dialogue with enterprises. How do we develop our companies, the new products, the new companies? Centre-left officials concede the real hard work may come after election day in forming a coherent government. Stefan Levin has run a cautious campaign, well aware that many Swedes have little ground for big complaints. But he and the Social Democrats are hoping that voters are ready for a change, as well as a return in Sweden to a focus on welfare and the public sector, rather than tax cuts and reforms. Richard Milne, Financial Times, Jevla in Sweden.